Welcome back to Got Fuels Model Car Garage. This is Brian. Uh, been able to get a lot done the last week. Had a little bit shorter days. It ain't really slowed down. We've just been been out of fuel at a normal loading facility, so I've had to go somewhere else and pull one long load. Quick shout out here for Mr. Justin over at J Hart Model Works. If y'all haven't uh, checked him out on YouTube, he's a must. A phenomenal builder. Uh, he, he does a lot of scratch building. He does a lot of tutorials on his scratch building and just the build process in general. Um, go check his channel out. Great builder. And thank you, sir, for the words on the back. I really appreciate it. A uh, little update here, too, on the uh, Revell Foo 67 Charger. Um, I, got, I started the body work. I was in prep stage, and um, the color hit me and uh what color i wanted to do it and i said you know what uh this is going to be a tribute build for uh, veronica um as y'all know um rick zanick lost his daughter uh to covid while i was sick with covid so um yeah we're going to do a tribute build for her this is actually uh creotex candy 2o deep purple over their silver silver base and I hope once I clear it, some of the metallic in the silver sealer will show up a little better. But this is just their 4050. And you know, I, I gotta say, well, their 4050 additive. Um, I think I'm gonna go back to the 4030 additive because I'm not really liking the way the 4050 lays down. I don't get a smooth finish off of it. I mean, it'll, it'll get smooth when I clear it, but um, just don't like the way it sprays. Uh, not unless I'm having problems with um, getting it reduced right um, it feels about like it did with the 4030 when I mix it up but I'm just not happy with it just not happy with the way it sprays with it and we're gonna do white on purple it's actually uh, Vallejo white and um, that's the uh, candy 2o purple on the seats and uh, we got these are uh, this is the uh, glove box pieces here and I'm going to go a little crazy, but uh, that's the shaker hood. So, yeah, it's going, it's purple and white. That's what it's going to be. Uh, I ordered it a while back ago, and I don't, I don't remember what I was going to do with it, but I got some purple flocking, too, so we'll get some carpet put in it. I also tried, I got, you remember uh, a few months ago, I ordered some... Uh, Alclad 2 and got a bunch of free paints with it. So this is the gunmetal gray Vallejos. They had their metallic color. This is true acrylic. It's, it's a thin paint. Um, I, I really, although it, it doesn't peel or come off easy, tape just didn't want to seem to want to stick to it. So that's the bell housing done in it. Uh, and it's a real thin watery paint, so you got to be careful. And then the intake, and this is the front housing off the rear diff. So I, I, I like it. It looks good. It, uh, you know, quite happy with the way it's coming along. So, uh, and the, the dash here, uh, I think I'm just going to try a wash in the instrument panel. There's no gauge uh, decals. Uh, so I'm hoping the black will kind of lay down. I've done it before, but these do kind of roll a little bit on the inside. They're not flat gate, you know, they're not a flat gauge. So uh, hopefully I can get them to turn out pretty good. Then I still got silver to do here. and I'll probably do the edge there with uh, some Molotov chrome. So yeah, that's where we stand with uh, where we're at here in the garage. And uh, we thank you all for watching. Got Fuels, Model Car Garage.